Blizzard has just banned a handful of players from some of the top end guilds in WoW. Players from Method, Team Liquid, and Echo have all been affected. Said players from each of these guilds got caught exploiting, so Blizzard decided to take action against them. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how this all happened and is this going to play a major role in the race to world first. So I think it's best to start out with what exactly was this exploit and how did the players take advantage of it. Apparently there was a way to take advantage of a faster than intended progress for the Severed Threads Renown track, which was basically allowing players to max out their Renown way faster than they should have been. I'm not going to explain exactly how to do the exploit, I don't know if Blizzard has hotfixed it or not, and I don't want to risk any of you guys getting in trouble, but apparently it involved using your massive alt army to take advantage of the reputation gains. So the players in question that got affected by this, according to reports, is that there were 10 players from the guild method, 7 echo players, and 1 liquid player that all got banned because of this loophole. Now it's worth mentioning that these players are not permabanned. This was a 4 day ban according to Blizzard, and all of the progress from the renown track on these characters has been rolled back. And apparently this was announced via the Race to World First Discord by one of the guys over at Blizzard. And he put out this post here and he says, Greetings. As you may have noticed, we are in the process of issuing suspensions for accounts that took advantage of specific loopholes that allowed faster than intended progress on the Severed Threads Renown track. This is being done for everyone who took advantage of it because this is an issue that will be particular of interest to the folks here. We wanted to provide extra context. The extra renowned rewards gathered will be taken away from the time of the suspensions being ended. This is not a step we take lightly, but game integrity demands that there be consequences beyond just rolling back gains, or will just incentivize competitive players to take immediate advantage of every exploit they find. Sincere thanks to those of you who helped bring these issues to our attention, and best of luck to all in the race ahead. And in my opinion, I'm really happy that they're doing this. On one hand, they're letting people know like, hey, if you guys do exploits, you're gonna get in trouble for it. And then on the other hand, I kind of wish that they would make the punishments a little bit more severe. In my opinion, this feels like it's kind of like a slap on the wrist to those players. Personally, I think this ban should have been an entire week to make those players miss out on the heroic week progress, but that's just me. I will say this though, Going forward for the race to world first for season two, if there are not harsher punishments for this kind of stuff, then that's gonna be kind of annoying in my opinion. In the past, Blizzard has been kind of wishy-washy on their dishing out of punishment. Sometimes they don't dish out punishment at all, and other times they just do like really light stuff, like just a rollback. And I believe in one of the Potty C podcasts with Max and uh, Dratnos, they kind of talked about that and how Max said that, you know, his group, they don't do exploits because, you know, they don't want to get in trouble if the off chance that blizzard does ban them um but that does bring in an interesting conversation that i have heard a lot about and i think about all the time because we have been in this thing with our raiders who are like every passing day seeing no action or rollbacks being taken and they're like should we have exploited this like can you do this and that's fine so seeing every potential exploit and having to think is this an exploit we should do or not is really annoying. I would really love if it was just like, don't fucking do that. But that's not what it is. They don't punish it that way. I don't know what they have to do with that, but it has been extremely frustrating. Our raiders are so frustrated because they're like, should we have exploited this? And it's like, no, they're going to roll it back. Okay, well, if they do. I definitely agree with what he's saying here, and I can definitely feel the frustration he might be and his group feels, you know, when they see other people taking advantage of these exploits after they report these bugs or exploits to Blizzard and nothing happens. And what's really funny about this whole situation is the renowned track exploit here is actually something that's really not going to give players a huge advantage. I think this is probably just an issue for the race to roll first players and you know those kinds of players are people that you know they will try to squeeze out any kind of advantage they possibly can. But anyways, moving on to how this is going to affect the race to world first, because you guys are probably curious like is this going to set these groups back, you know, what's going to happen with this? And I'm sure there's probably a few of you guys here that are actually really hoping that this is going to throw like a massive wrench in the race, right? To those of you, I have to say, unfortunately, no, this is not going to play a major impact into the race. This is mainly because, again, it's a four day ban for these players, and this is happening during Heroic Week, not Mythic. Most of the things that they are going to be missing out on is stuff that they can catch up to next week anyways, so this is not going to be that big of a deal for them. They're only going to be missing out on Mythic Zeros, Bountiful Delves, and those things only offer Champion Track gear, and that's stuff that can be quickly replaced. So yeah, that is the current situation. 
I'm really happy that Blizzard is starting to put their foot down and let players know like, hey, you guys can't be taking advantage of exploits. This is not good for the game. And it's just, you know, at the end of the day, it's not fair for all the participants and especially those of them who don't want to do the exploits. But anyways, that is all I've got for you guys today. If you guys could do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Here I cover World of Warcraft and other games in general, so chances are there's probably something that you guys will find on my channel that you'll enjoy. Speaking of which, here's one of those videos right now. You guys should definitely click on it.